United States of Europe coming to you live from Cafe Mezrab in Amsterdam, the storytelling cafe, where tonight there is a fundraiser for She Decides. With Donald Trump ready for his big trip to Europe, a lot of Europeans are asking me at least, what would it take for Donald Trump to be removed from office, declared mentally unfit, or perhaps impeached? And as Gerald Ford said about Richard Nixon, the answer is whatever Congress decides it is. Remember what it took? for the Republicans to impeach Bill Clinton, he got a blowjob from an intern. Donald Trump starts out up here from day one. Are you aware that you're in conflict of interest and in conflict with the US Constitution? And he's like, yeah. But Republicans in Congress say, nah, that's just Trump being Trump. And then like a serial killer who wants to get caught, he keeps dropping little hints like, oh yeah, I fired Comey because he wanted more money to investigate my ties to Russia. So you have ties to Russia? No, I never said that. And I invited the Russian foreign minister and Russian ambassador, also spy master, for a private photo session in the Oval Office. And while they were in the Oval Office, I revealed top secret classified information to them. See, there's normally a rule in politics, where there's smoke, there's fire, but with Trump, where there's smoke, there's just a smoke screen. I love smoke, I love screens, they're like walls. I love building, you show me the smoke, I will build the smoke into a smoke screen. You can't tell what I'm doing back here, smoke. And yet, there still might be a way to turn his strength into a weakness, because what is his go-to move? You're fired. And there are only so many people he can fire. Michael Flynn, uh, Comey, you know, next up he's gonna go all the way to like Mike Pence. You're fired. I'm fired. You're fired. I'm fired. You're fired. You're fired. I'm fired. I said I'm fired, and that is final. And that is how we'll finally get rid of Donald Trump. It's sold out, so that's good.